what's up you guys so i'm back with another video i am lady simone if you don't know now you know ah. y'all like my love me introducing myself is that better for y'all because i know i'm getting you know new subscribers 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 i'm getting new peeps subscribers every single day and it's a blessing and i just want to say thank you this candy is so good i love candy this is going to be a story time since we're on the topic of boys i recently dealt with two boys within the last month when you just get out of a very serious relationship i did i did but see look i wasn't talking to these boys on like that type of level you know i was just you know passing time about basically occupying some time some occupying some space you know you know i was bored and they was available so now if you remember like probably like a couple of weeks ago i had posted a q and a um i was still in colorado and i said i had a little boo right we're gonna call him we're gonna call him light skin okay we're gonna call him light skin because he was fucking light skin okay you know as mama black you know daddy white you know light skin you know but i was dealing with the foolishness that i was dealing with he shall not be named i was like liking his pictures or whatever because you know i was like oh he don't got cute he in the army he wasn't he an army He's cute six three you know i even bragged about him on freaking you know snapchat if you ain't following me on snapchat you need to follow me on snapchat because you be missing the t you be missing the t because everybody on snapchat gets the information before youtube does i'm just trying to i'm trying to tell y'all he he was like basically saying you know i should have never stopped talking to him which I never really was talking to him on that level. I mean, he would go, we would go back and forth, you know, when I was very new in Instagram and YouTube. And, you know, he would tell me, you need to take that nose ring out your nose and all this stuff like this. He was just really mean, but, you know, when guys are mean to you, they like you, you know. Or that don't work no more. We was talking or whatever. He was like, you should never stop talking to me, you know, flirting with me and everything. And I was like, oh, you, you feeling a little aggressive. I like I like some aggressiveness. And, you know, we was vibing and everything. I was like, oh, you my little boo. You know, whoop de whoop whoop You know, you need to come see me. Like, whoop de whoop whoop At the time, you know, he was sending me, you know, the little pictures of, you know, Snapchatting me the pictures of his, you know, wang wang. You know, I kind of liked it. You know, I ain't gonna sit up here and lie. I ain't seen a wang wang rise for me in a minute. So, uh, it was, it was kind of refreshing. But, you know, eventually it just got irritating because you could not have a conversation with him. I could not converse with him because all he wanted to do was just send me little videos of his wang wang. Like, I couldn't deal with it. Like, the sparse texting and you want to talk to me only when you want to talk to me because you want to only show me your little wang wang. Like, I can't deal with that, honey. Like, I can't deal with the inconsistencies. On top of that, he was a Gemini. And Geminis are freaking wishy-washy. I know because my baby sister is a Gemini. I know because my father's a Gemini and they the most wishy-washiest people on damn earth i'm telling you if they wasn't my family i'd probably punch them in the face because they get on my nerves with their wishy-washy and, and 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 indecisiveness i can't stand that one day you know i was just i was getting tired of him you know talking to me late at night and you know cute and all the first week or two but you don't talk to me unless you talk to me on snapchat and instagram you got my number but you don't want to text nobody but you want to snapchat people your little wang wang you can't even have have a conversation with me honey it's annoying one day i was just like you know what i'm gonna get me a new boo because you tripping honey you think i'm somebody to play with you think that you could just not talk to me and you think that just because you know how them light skin exist honey they think that just because they light skin you know they ain't gotta talk to nobody i can't stand the inconsistency honey like it's annoying and i don't have time to be turning my wi-fi on and off because you don't want to text nobody but you got my whole number after i had said that he messaged me on snapchat and he was like what you mean and then i didn't miss him back because one i was in church oh because i said i was gonna get me a new, a new boo gonna hit me up with a good morning oh so i kind of was like oh good morning boo you know just you know we talking or whatever and after after a few texts here and there he stopped texting me again i had texted him the next day or a little bit later on i think it was the next day or a couple of days after i don't know i was like hey boo and he gonna text me back what's up ugly lol me you know i i felt some type of way because at the time i didn't have no weaves in my head and i was like you know maybe he think i'm ugly because i'm looking like a whole 12 year old boy right now because you know i'm feeling myself with my little short haircut and everything you know my shade head maybe he think i'm really ugly for real that was just very rude and it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit because i was like bitch how you gonna call somebody ugly when you looking how you looking 
how you gonna call me ugly when you don't even know how to keep the pimples out your face? You looking like a whole pepperoni face, but you call me ugly. How you call, how you call me ugly? I don't understand. Even when I ain't got no makeup on, or I ain't even got no, no, no freaking hair, I'm still cute. I might be a cute little 12 year old boy, but I'm still cute. How you call me ugly? So I was like, oh, I'm ugly now, bet. I put the little piece in and you know, the little thumbs up. I was like, bet. I'm gonna take some damn back for like 10 minutes. And then I went in on him. I was like, you know what? That was just really rude what you said. You know, you need to grow up because that was just really uncalled for. I didn't like what you said. He told me to get lost, you guys. That's the most whitest I have ever heard, okay? That must have been his daddy side coming out of him because he told me to get lost. Who tells somebody to get lost? And if y'all was on Snapchat, y'all saw how he looked. Y'all know the dude cute. Y'all know he fine. You know, he a whole 22 years old. He too young for me. He too young for my cougar, cougar ass, okay? He too young for me. Like, you need to find somebody to play with and you need, you need to grow up before karma comes back to bite you in your ass. And he was like, bye. Okay. Okay, I just didn't text him nothing back. I didn't text him nothing back. I said, okay, cool, whatever. Whatever. I didn't even unfollow him on Instagram and Snapchat. I want you to see my glow up. I want you to see how you so I want you to see next couple of days, you know, I'm so I'm posting snapchats, you know, and everything like that That was around the time when I first did the, you know, review for this hair and all this stuff like this You know, I was twerking on Instagram because I was just feeling myself and you know And guess who I see watching me on snapchat? Guess who I see watching me on Instagram when I uh, post my little Instagram stories? Him! I see him watching me, but I'm just like you told me to get lost, but you're not getting lost. You told me buy, but you're not buying. You're not, you're not buy buying. You're not. Why are you still watching me? If you don't, if you don't with me like that, why are you still watching me? That's fake. I was calling him out on Snapchat. I was like, I really don't hate faggot ass little boys. I'm sorry if that hurt anybody's feelings, but that was a faggot move. Sorry. <laughs> I use that term very loosely and I don't ever use that term talking about, you know, homosexual men or anything like that. I use that term just when somebody just irritate me like nigga. Like you could be white and I could still call you a nigga. Like that's just how I talk. Sorry if you're offended. If you're offended, you probably should click out of my videos because you're going to be offended a lot. You telling somebody to get lost but you still watching me. I wonder if he misses me as much as he watches me. I sent him the picture of the Snapchat in his DMs on, on Instagram, right? This nigga likes the picture. Reads and just, just likes it. You little light skinned pepperoni face little bitch. Okay. So you know like when you're on Instagram and you're DM someone, you're DMing someone constantly and it has like the suggestions underneath everybody that you DM'd or whatever. And I kept seeing him underneath my suggestions and I didn't want to see his face. I didn't want to see his profile. So I blocked him, you know, I unfollowed him to see if that would stop it. It did stop it. So I blocked him and it stopped it. I saw he kept watching me on Snapchat or whatever. I unblocked him because I really didn't want to block him. I just didn't want to see his face. You know what I'm saying? I saw him still watching me on Snapchat because that's what fake people do. They want to sit up there and tell you to get lost or tell you to fuck off, but they still be watching you. That's what haters do. That's what, that's what, that's what weak people do. That's, that's literally what fake people do. So infatuated with you, but they want to tell you to get lost. <laughs> okay. Next thing I know, before yesterday, you know, I was just checking, you know, I was just going back and forth on his profile. Yeah, I was I was kind of snooping a little bit. I ain't gonna sit up here and notice. This freaker, you're still watching me, but you unfollowed me on Instagram. I added him back on Snapchat. I was like, okay, you watching me? I'm gonna watch you. I guess he didn't like the fact that I was gonna be watching him too. So he blocked me on Instagram. Blocked me on Instagram. I ain't never been blocked by a dude before. I'm like, that's some real bitch nigga shit. Like, excuse my French, but you're a whole guy. You're a whole dude, my G. You're a whole dude and you block you block me? Oh, okay. Well, that was the end of that. I was like, okay, well shit, yeah. Okay, so that's why whatever would be would be. Move it on. But that's pretty much it for my boy story if you enjoy it make sure you thumbs this up make sure you're following me on snapchat because snapchat here first before youtube do make sure you follow me on instagram and make sure you subscribe to my channel i am happy to have you if you're new i am so happy to have you like for real i'm happy to have you i want to continue to grow with you guys okay but um yeah so that's pretty much it details about this hair makeup it will be in the cards i will see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Bye.